You guys hear me? Yes. Okay. Yep. All right. We will call the council meeting to order. Everybody stand for the pledge, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Clerk, take the roll. That would be me tonight. Um, Becky, unfortunately, had some family mishaps with butchering a deer, apparently. So um, she is now unavailable. So I'll take the uh, I'll take the role. Um, Mayor O'Connor here. Morissette here. Alms. No alms. Uh, Dizio here. Weber. Uh, no Weber. I don't see. Nope. Um, Atkins Hoggett. Here. And Hall. Here. Okay. All right. Uh, first thing that we have is a canine vest donation recognition. Do we have anybody zoomed in on this? We had it on the agenda last time, and uh, I think it was my mistake that I, <laughs> that I didn't give them timely notice that it was on the agenda. I did, however, let them know it's on the agenda again tonight. Is anybody here on Zoom for this? We will go ahead anyway. Aaron, do you want to uh, proceed with this, please? Oh. Yep, I can do that. So um, uh, we wanted to, to recognize um, uh, Mallory Meister and her friend Haley Johnson. Um, they raised money all summer to buy a bulletproof vest for a local canine dog. Um, and then on September 19th, um, they did um, have a kind of a donation ceremony um, at uh, Angel Pet Store downtown. Um, after having, having raised more than $3,000, um, they donated the money to the St. Croix County Canine. Um, and the canine that will be getting the vest, his name is Aries. Um, and so... Um, the, uh, the sheriff was able to attend. Um, we actually had a lot of uh, Metro news stations that, that, that were there as well. Um, and so I think it was just something that the city wanted to recognize that two of our local nine-year-olds um, worked all summer to raise over $3,000 and did donate um, the Bulletproof Fest to St. Croix County. Um, so we definitely wanted to recognize them for that work and, and thank them for it. Excellent, thank you. And I wanna congratulate uh... It was fine young women for a job well done and you know really wanted to let them know how much we appreciate them doing that i think it's important so and hopefully they'll continue to work in capacities like that that's great all right uh public hearing on proposed 2021 operating budget and levy this is a public hearing so uh any there anybody that is on zoom please unmute I cannot see you, so just chime in and we'll recognize you. If you do, uh, if you do want to speak, please identify yourself and your address and, and uh, whether you're a resident of the city. Uh, I don't know that we have one gentleman here. I'm not sure if he wants to speak to this or not. Doesn't sound like it. All right. All right, so again, it's a public hearing. Is there anyone here that would like to comment? Anyone that would like to comment? Anyone that would like to make a comment? Move to close the public hearing. Second. We've got a motion second to close the public hearing. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion's approved, public hearing is closed. Discussion of possible action on ordinance 18-20, appropriation ordinance. So this is uh, basically nothing has changed since we presented this to finance and council um, earlier. Um, we are proposing a 0% levy increase for next year um, with the recently completed board of review that finalized the total reevaluation for, for all city properties. Um, with that 0% levy increase and then with our valuation increase um, from that reevaluation, um, property owners should be looking at a 24.06% decrease in their city portion of taxes. Now, again, that's just the city portion. And again, that's based on if your property remains the same value. So probably unlikely with the re with the reeval. So I'm going to, Brian, can you allow screen sharing so I can try to show this real quick at all? Maybe not. 
<laughs> yeah, that. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Aaron, just go ahead and click on the screen share button at the bottom of your screen. It says host disable participant screen sharing. Oh, there we go. Now I got it. Sorry about that. There you go. That's okay. Okay. So um, I will show this. When, when we originally discussed this with the finance committee and the council a few meetings ago, um, we were using the equalized value, um, which would have gave us about a 25% um, mill rate uh, decrease. Um, but when we actually got through the, the official board review certified the, the, the evaluation amounts, it turned out to be about a 24% uh, percent, um, uh, decrease in the mill rate. So in looking at that, the one thing that we talked about last time is with the reevaluation, assumedly a lot of property values went up. So if you take a look at your house um, and let's say that your home is val was valued this year in 2020 at $300,000, you would have paid roughly $1,600 um, in city taxes. Um, what you can do is if you got your reevaluation statement and now your home jumped up to a, no a higher number, say it jumped up to $375,000, you can go over to this other column here and take a look and see that your taxes go to $1,551. Um, so you still actually see a decrease of about $100, $80 in, in your taxes, even with a $75,000 value increase. Um, so um, it, it's just good to note that this is only um, on the city portion of taxes. This doesn't um, take into account what the other taxing entities may do with their levies. But I think that it shows that with everything going on right now, um, the city is doing everything they can to assist property owners um, in you know a, a very difficult time for everyone uh, by keeping the property tax levy uh, flat and then going through the process of a full reevaluation to make sure that our values are correct um, and bringing our mill rate down um, significantly um, for, for next year's taxes payable. Um, so I, th I think with that, that's, that's, I think the most important part. So I don't know if anybody has any questions or anything else about the budget and levy. I will move to suspend and I think you guys have done a heck of a job. Thank second. you. Sorry, was there a second? Second. Yeah. Okay. Paul. Uh, all right. We have a motion and second to suspend the rules. Roll call. Uh, Morissette. Yes. Alms. Dezeal. Yes. Weber, no. Atkins, Hoggett? Yes. And Hall? Yes. Motion's approved. Rules are suspended. Move to adopt Ordinance 18 20. Second. Got a motion and second to approve. Discussion? I want to echo uh, Randy's point. I think it's okay. a great balance between city services and taxpayers. So I really also want to affirm the staff and the heads of the departments that I know worked very hard to control those numbers and in some cases reduce those numbers so um hats off to you guys for uh, putting together an awesome budget yeah. thank you all right anybody else all those in favor aye, aye. opposed motions approved public hearing on resolution 19-20 to partially discontinue a portion of public right of way for Crestview Drive generally located north of 2000 Crestview Drive Hudson Ford again this is a public hearing uh, again if you are on zoom please unmute and just hop right on in because we can't see you uh, is there anyone who'd like to make a comment anyone who would like to make a comment anyone who'd like to make a comment Move to close. Second. Oh, got a motion and second to close uh, open meet or public hearing. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, motions approved, public hearings closed. Discussion of possible action on resolution 19-20 to partially discontinue a portion of public right of way for Crestview Drive generally located north of 2000 Crestview Drive, Hudson Ford. Good evening. Um, this is the, I think the third time the council's seen this specific item. So again, it's about 10,000 square feet of excess right of way on Crestview Drive in front of 2000 um, Crestview, this Hudson Ford. Um, if there are any questions, just let me know. But otherwise, Planning Commission recommends approval. Move to suspend the rules. Second. Motion and second to suspend the rules. Roll call. Or set. Yes. Zeal. Yes. Atkins Hoggett? Yes. 
And Hall. Yes. Motion to approve. Rules are suspended. Move to approve resolution 19-20. Second. Got a motion and a second to approve. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion's approved. Uh, next, we're on to the comments and suggestions from citizens present. Uh, again, if you have any comment, please limit it to something uh, that is not on the agenda. Uh, if you have comments on something that's on the agenda, you can bring it up at, the, at that appropriate time when we take it up f from the agenda. Again, unmute yourself if you have anything to say and you're zoomed in. And once again, this is for residents of the city of Hudson. So, is there anyone who would like to make a comment? I would. Okay, Addison. Uh, I'm Addison Filiatro. I live speak, at Can you speak up, please? Yep, sorry. Um, I am Addison Filiatro. I live at 213 River Street in Hudson. And thank you again for starting the Golden Rule Initiative. Um, since the banner is already on the website, I'm wondering if a full outline of actions and hope for outcomes is available somewhere, as well as how city council and city administrator will be involved and a list of organizations and people already involved. Um, I know there's a lot of work to do and a lot of people are hopeful and excited about Hudson, helping Hudson with being a more equitable and inclusive atmosphere and city. So basically that's all that I have. That was it. Okay, thanks Addison. Any other comments? Any other comments? Any other comments? Hearing none, we'll close the citizen comment portion of the agenda. Consent agenda. Okay. Um, approve the meeting minutes for the November 9th, 2020 regular council meeting. Approve the claims in the amount of $1,480,408.51. Uh, place on file the public utility commission minutes from the October 13th and October 27th, 2020 meetings. Approve operator's license noted on the list sheet. Approve approval of a conditional use permit review for 708 offices, 708 Second Street, Freeze Properties, LLC. Approval of a certified survey map for St. Croix County Tax Parcel 236-0353-00-001 Willow River Cemetery Association. Approval of setting a public hearing date of February 1st, 2021 for amendments to Municipal Code Chapter 99-21 Chickens. Mm -hmm. Approve the 2021 Solar System Walk, Hudson Library, Christopher Mick. Approval of a dumpster agreement between Wismin Hospitality, LLC, Eastside Hospitality, LLC, Peter and Laura A. Foster Rev Trust, and the City of Hudson at 222 Wal yep, Walnut Street. Approve change order one for 2020 Mill and Overlay Project, Industrial Street and Stage Line Road. Bond schedule revision to include short-term rentals. Building inspectors third quarter report. Approve Western Wisconsin Animal Services impound services contract. Approve appointment of Dr. Carol, Carolyn Wanken to, alter, to as an alternate to Zoning Board of Appeals. Move to approve. We got a motion second to approve consent agenda. Roll call. Morissette. Yes. Uh, Dezeal. Yes. Atkins, Hoggett? Yes. Antal? Yes. Motion's approved. Consent agenda is approved. Discussion of possible action on resolution 21 20 to accept Sharon Lane and utilities. Move for that pretty quick. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is uh, Sharon Lane, is the road that runs east west off of Brecken Drive in St. Croix Meadows. Um, the council will remember uh, a few months ago, we accepted Brecken Drive and the utilities. Um, this is another public street. This was not planted as part of St. Croix Meadows. Um, it was actually done as an easement and now they're dedicating it to the city via a warranty deed. Um, both uh, city engineer and public works director have reviewed um, and inspected the improvements and we recommend that the um, council um, incorporate the, the, the road in, and the utilities into the, the city street system. Um, so do we need, do we need, sorry, do we need two different, 
the items A and item B, or are you looking for both at the same time, Mike? Um, I would look at. I think we got to do them separately. We'll do them separately, but they're they're, they're the same thing. But we should we should probably do it separately. I move to suspend. Second. Motion and second to suspend the rules. Roll call. More set. Yes. Dezeal. Yes. Atkins Hoggett. Yes. And Hall. Yes. Motions approved. Rules are suspended. For clarification, Mike, you said you wanted them both, the lane and the utility separate. No. no. That one. The resolution and the warranty deed separate. Items A and B. Oh, I see. All right. Move to approve resolution 2120. Second. A motion and second to approve. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion's approved. Discussion Aye. possible action on a warranty deed to accept out lot five of the St. Croix Meadows Platte, Sharon Lane. Is this the warranty indeed you want now? Correct. So, yeah. so I would move to approve that 8B is listed. Second. Motion second to approve. Discussion? Do I need a number on that, Mr. Mayor? There is none. Got it. Thank you, though. There's no number on that one. Okay. All right. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion's approved. Discussion of possible action on 2021 CIP video cameras for the police department. Everybody have a chance to hear this. Paul, did you hear this on uh, Finance Committee? I did not. Sorry, I wasn't okay. there. Jeff? Yep. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so uh, our current cameras uh, for in-squad and body cameras are from 2014 when we purchased them. For the last two or three years, we've been spending an inordinate amount of money between eight and ten thousand dollars a year replacing hardware and updating software of the system um, brian's had to update um, server space because it's a static drive a static server system um, we've been having a lot of problems with uh, videos being corrupted when we're trying to copy them for the da or for public release um, and it's time for an update um, the reason I'm asking for this now and here is because the uh, price is said to likely have a 7 to 10% increase um, after the first of the year. <coughs> you know that you haven't approved the capital improvement projects for 2021 yet, uh, but I'm hoping to answer any questions and get some approval to get in contract with uh, this company, GTEC. Uh, next gen video capturing technology so that we can lock in uh, our pricing. Uh, we did try to demo with Axon, which is a uh, body camera and squad camera system, but they would not agree to um, a demo. And we did look at a company called WatchGuard, and their pricing was just about double. To this one and that's how we came up uh, came up with this company and I guess I'll take any questions that anybody has anybody? a couple quick quick questions if I could chief um, looks like a really viable option but I was wondering um, do you know if there's any other kind of cities in our area who are using police departments in our area that are using that similar system yep and I apologize at finance I said it was Shaska it's actually Shakopee, Minnesota, that hmm. uses this, not Shaska. And the city of New Richmond went to these about a year and a half ago. Okay. Um, I've talked with both departments. They're both very happy with the system. And I've talked to both uh, prosecuting attorney's offices, and well, obviously ours here in St. Croix County, and then um, over in Chaska, and they're all very happy with the system. Shakopee. Shak Shakopee. So, second question, can if I, I could. I cannot say Shakopee. <laughs> Shakopee. <laughs> Um, second question, sorry. Um, was there just no time to go through public safety or did public safety talk about this at all as a committee? No, no. I don't think we brought this up at public safety. Um, I had a conversation with the sales rep, uh, just kind of keeping them in the loop, whereas to our request was. And he, uh, 
very eloquently gave me the heads up that uh, the pricing was likely going to increase significantly at the first of the year. So I just, I wanted to, I wanted to come in here to see where we could go uh, before, instead of waiting until December. Paul, Paul, I can tell you, I was here when we approved the last set of cameras and those have been just the problem after a problem. You get what you pay for, and this seems to be like a, a better alternative, so it's a good idea. And the community deserves a, a good system as much as everybody else, you know, with the, with the use of them. So it's a good it's a good piece of equipment. Yeah, and I, I agree, and I think we need that. I'm just trying to clarify some of the information points here, I guess. Anybody else? Move to approve. Second. Got a motion and second to approve. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion's approved. Thanks again, Chief. Thank you. Motion to convene in a closed session under Wisconsin Statute 19.85 sub 1 sub G to confer with legal counsel for the governmental body who is rendering oral or written advice concerning strategy to be adopted by the body with respect to litigation in which the city is involved regarding Menard, Inc versus City of Hudson, St. Croix County, case number 18-CV-488, claim for excessive assessment for 2018 taxes. And this is a roll call. Morissette. Yes. Zeal. Yes. Atkins Hoggett. Yes. And Hall. Yes. So if you remember, you need to log approved. out of this Zoom, log into the other one I emailed you. If you need it, let me know, I'll re-email it to you. And that'll be our closed session Zoom. And then um, it, the mayor and, and Kathy can go into the mayor's office and they have it set up in there for them. All right. And then Aaron, when we're done, we come back to this Zoom. Yep. Yeah. So and then when we're done, you got to log out of that Zoom, log back into this Zoom so we can close the meeting. Okay. Thank you. So see you in a minute. Yes. Oh, there's Jim. Jim, I'm sorry about that. I don't know. I could, I didn't see the waiting room to get you into that closed session. <laughs> sorry. I was trying to text Jim back and forth. Like, I, I'm trying to let you in. I don't know how. Oh. I'm playing with three different instruments here, trying to find one that would work. I think, uh, I think I had control of that in my office, but I didn't see it. So, oh, sorry. Thanks. Thanks, Mayor. Oh. Uh, everybody good? Uh, Sarah's here now? Okay. Um, all right. So we're back in open session. Do we have a motion? I'll move with direct legal counsel to appeal the decision. Second. We got a motion and second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion's approved. Uh, anybody have anything? I've got nothing. Anybody else other than to wish everybody a very happy <laughs> Thanksgiving? I hope you're um, chance to... I would like to um, second what um, Addison asked for would be a um, an update on what's going on with the the Golden Rule Committee and um, hear about it since I'm I'm hearing about things from um, through Rotary and through other um, places so I'd like to I would like to get an official summary please you want that on the agenda yes please no problem keep in mind that is not an official city deal right now so just bear that in mind okay well but it's on the you've got a logo on the website saying and uh you know a golden rule city so how yep what i i guess i'd like to know what your plan really is and so that we can discuss and, it. and i'm more than happy i have been providing information every week i just didn't do it this or every meeting and i just didn't do it this time but i uh, i intend to keep people updated but just bear in mind i mean it's not an official city project so, all right, anything else? Yeah, so my question may be for Aaron. Um, we had talked about maybe a diversity task force and uh, prior meeting and had some examples or whatnot. So I just wanna make sure that we, we don't lose that. I wanna make sure that we have something in place. So maybe, I don't know if that's, I mean, it's no urgency like it has to be next meeting, but I'm just trying to figure out when we can maybe get back to that. Yep, we, we definitely will. None of that stuff is, is forgotten. That's for sure. We're, it, it will come back at a future meeting. I don't, like I said, I don't think it'll be next one, maybe either with the holidays coming up, but um, we will have more information back to the council on this. So it's not something that's going to get left behind. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yep. Move to adjourn. Second. Second. Motion and second to adjourn. All those in favor? 
Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion's approved. Thanks, everybody, and have a happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. Great Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.